So I know the computer science house loves bouncy balls, but opening up my luggage in Iceland and finding this is just, that's a new level. Well, well, well. Snow. Perhaps surprisingly, it's our first time seeing snow this entire trip. I'm gonna get in the road and not stop for a while. It is raining and there's not much to do right there. This weather kind of sucks for driving. We've arrived in the little town of Vic. Everything is snow covered just beyond the hills there. And it looks really pretty. And it's raining and slippery. It's not fun. So there's 4G here. And uh, how? There's nothing. There's nothing here! There's not anything. Two years ago when Luke was here on his own, he's flying a little like GoPro drone up around there. Crashed into the waterfall. Almost lost it, but luckily found it. It's also really This is Luke. Luke never drives with two hands. Why is he driving with two hands? He did steering wheel. I just want to say the front of the car looks gorgeous because of all the rain. So did the driver. So is the driver. So he says. Also, these other tourists that uh, also stopped to take pictures with us just came from that direction, which is where we're heading. And they said there's a snowstorm about 10 minutes that way. Coming off the road, we saw this, which looked like a sculpture at first, but now it's just twisted metal and actually looks really interesting. Let's check it out. It appears as part of an old bridge from Route 1 that was once damaged and then, I guess, drifted this way on a river. It's a bit heavy though. Ah, so in 1996, a volcano erupted, causing a glacier flood, and the large blocks of ice carried over here. That makes more sense. Right back to the car. God, it's cold. Oh. So we just arrived at the base of a glacier, and we came down the most potholed road of our entire lives. Also, look at this thing is all off in that. Here, you can actually see it now. Also, Luke's putting on his jacket for the first time. He's pretty proud of that. Second time in two years. years. Alright, Luke. What do you say we go rescue Matt Damon? Whoa. Something like that. So, Luke, where are we heading now? To the Iceberg Lagoon. Mm. Back at it again. Yeah, we're at a glacial lagoon. Just over that hill. So here we are. The glacial lagoon, which is very frozen. Very quiet. So I really want to walk down this little hill here, guarded off by a rope. The problem is, I'm not sure if you can see it in the Snapchat, but it's quite steep, uh, there's not too much uh, grip, and it's not clear at all where it's solid ground under the snow or frozen water, and I don't know how deep that water would be. So there's not really anyone out here, so I'm not going But there's another uh, lagoon about a 10 minute drive that way, by the uh, hill, here I'll focus. Uh, so we're going to head over there. So there's 3G in this place as well. Pretty crazy, right? But for real, where is it coming from? This is behind me, so there's some power lines over there, but then absolutely nothing else. Hi, Luke. What does this look like to you? Because I think it's the Toblerone Mountains doppelganger. Hmm, I want some chocolate. This is that place. This is better. 
little icebergs out there. There's a big one. Right over there. Drone time. So if the wind is too much, I'll just bring her low and bring her in. going to the sky today. iceberg. The fog is hiding something. Also it's raining, so it's a really good cool We're in the Alps. Ah, uh, just kidding. Bird Ocean Sea, New Jersey. Farmland? Mountains. I mean, they're not even being subtle at this point. Driving along near Hoffman, and we noticed that uh, this is the airport from Walter Mitty. Uh, this is the Greenland airport, which is a little funny because it's not in Greenland. So, we have made it to Hoffman, a little fishing town on the southeast tip of Iceland. And there is an adorable little drive through. at that place that's basically a McDonald's. And yeah, look at this view. Where are we are right now? You zoom in there. And it looks like this. So my phone camera and Snapchat will not do justice, but this is actually one of the most like movie-like scenes I've seen with my own eyes, I think ever.